and our lovely Airbnb. Found this last minute. I was taking a look at booking, booking prices, like most hotels were booked out and the prices were super high and I was looking for something cheap on Airbnb. This was one of the cheapest. Just the hostels would have been cheaper. And it looks amazing. Exactly. And this is the casita. They put all mosquito nets everywhere. That's convenient. Very, very, very nice. Oh, it's comfy <laughs> after this wooden, I don't know, Britsche from last day. And this one is just oh. very nice. Yes. So it's nice in here, right? Yeah. Let some Germans do it, huh? Because the hosts here, they are Germans, and you have this lovely place here. And a beautiful bathroom. Towels, a nice shower, no electrification here. It's so nice in here. So maybe tomorrow when the light is better, we're gonna do a full room tour of this beautiful casita here, of this property, which is really, really good. And we heard from the host that it is actually pretty easy to buy a property here in Costa Rica. As a foreigner, you basically need to spend $150,000 to buy a property and then you can apply for some sort of citizenship and it's just a lovely place. I think they have three casitas here, right? One still needs to be finished. Shall I show you something very German that I very much miss and I think other nations will not understand why I'm <laughs> Very efficient. Put it somewhere and hang your clothes. And then you can store it inside. It's not a rope outside which will get dirty and make your clothes dirty that are freshly washed. I love this item. I miss it. <laughs> crazy what you can miss if you're somewhere in the world and people are doing it differently than you are used to and then you're missing a wet clothes hanger. And they even thought about this. It's the first one in Costa Rica mm -hmm. and Guatemala and Co that I see where it's already attached. I don't need to put mine out. Thumbs up for this Airbnb from Achim and Frauke. May we present to you. Ta-da! you see the Beautiful. turtle? This property here is really in the middle of the jungle with all the monkey sounds and birds and insects. It's awesome. And the casita, the place is pretty, pretty new. Uh, the hosts, they moved here in October last year. Now we have March, so it's brand new. I'm not awake yet. I need more coffee. Quality is outstanding, the materials, every little detail, so nice. You could live here a whole month. Man, I love it here. Oh. I can see myself coming back here and writing a book. You hear the so monkeys? They want sex. It's amazing. Dr. Gero was visiting it, this is living it. But today's breakfast is pesto rojo with this whole wheat bread. There you go. Oh yeah. Madeline is enjoying her baby food. Mm -hmm. She decided that's the only safe way to enjoy fruits. So if you want to enjoy some fruits and veggies, go get the baby food. All right, we're gonna head off now. See you later. This is the host's house. Du bist hier schon schwer am Schaffen. Was wollt ihr da machen? Noch eine Einfahrt? Oder? Einfahrt. Acerola Kirsch. Acerola Kirsch. Doesn't look like a cherry. Acerola Cherry. Mm. Mm. A few moments later. This is Sasha having four propellers of his in Panama. <laughs> not, not anymore. I'm, I'm almost home. But so yeah. he didn't step foot on it, but he stepped drone on it. Yeah, we just visited Panama with our drone. which is probably super illegal to cross it here, but you so want to... of course to... we didn't do it, we just tell you for clickbait. Right. I'm taking advantage of the internet on the side of the road where Sasha is flying the drone, because on you know, Airbnb, which is super lovely and wonderful, best Airbnb so far, we don't have internet, which is also good, because then I can't go sprawling through Instagram in the morning. But yeah, my parents are already asking if we are fine, so... Oh, oh, Sasha, Sasha, Sasha.
How do you feel? How was Panama? Very nice. Oh, wie schön ist Panama. Yeah. Boah, ist das heiß. Boah, ist das warm. Wow, wow, wow. Close the window. Wow, wow. Wildfire. If somebody wanted that or it just occurred. And nobody's ever doing anything about it. We made it to the sparkling waterfall. It's 1,000 colonnades per person. Let's find out how great it is, huh? This is how you hike. <laughs> like on a catwalk. I would call it refreshing. I always enjoy waterfalls and then I'm like, can we go to the beach now? <laughs> we might have spotted a poisonous frog, a strawberry frog. <laughs> no, it's a gummy bear. Before. Strawberry gummy frog. Very dangerous. Moving on. After our little waterfall adventure, we decided to head towards the beach right north of Puerto Verco and it's so lovely, it gets so black sand, like ash. The beach is lovely, the water is so nice, the waves incredible, it doesn't get any better than that. Costa Rica is so nice. finished our waterfall and beach day. What do you need after exploring? Food. That's right. The very famous Café Viejo here in Puerto Viejo, right? Which is supposed to be very good. And it opens in a couple of minutes and it's number one in Lonely Planet, Travel Advisor, Trip Advisor. I bet it's great. And on the way there, we are visiting some merchants here directly on the sea, which sell their products, who are very, very nice from the looks of it. Ooh, that's nice. Very beautiful. Now I'm even getting filmed while shopping. Spending the money we don't have. We haven't bought anything yet. Just looking, but it's very nice. Change of plans. So the place is just, to be honest, too expensive to go in there. No dish under 10 euros. No, so even the antipasti, they start at over 10. All right, enjoy our casita. So our conclusion of Puerto Vejo, it is super, super nice. Yeah. The location is awesome, people are awesome, but if you're on a budget, you won't have a good time here. The accommodations are very, very pricey. Hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, everything, and the restaurants as well. Yeah. So we are going to uh, go to the supermarket. We still have some pasta left and some pesto. Maybe we can afford a Parmesan, maybe? So we've decided against the restaurant. We've told you it's too expensive, but we put the money 
into some groceries and enjoy this lovely evening here in Costa Rica at our outdoor kitchen where we'll have a feast. I think Maddie is doing some pasta and I bought some vegan sausages, Italian style, and a beer and some ice cream and you name it. All the good stuff to end this wonderful, wonderful day here in Costa Rica, Puerto Viejo. And we found a supermarket and they got so many nice things like European stuff that you're used to. It's just incredible. So let's unpack, let's unravel all of our stuff and have a wonderful evening. Eat and just enjoy ourselves. Come here, my dear. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna leave you with a time lapse of the evening. See us prepare the meal and cook it and enjoy it and eat Can it. Can take hours. <laughs> exactly. So, see you in the next one. Fascinating. I'm a bit afraid that we are going to have a like a super flash flood, like brrr, everything going down the drain. Of <laughs> Always afraid. Looks very elegant. <laughs> and machete. Sasha? Is he ever gonna grow up? I hope not.